Should you or should you not end your relationship? Chances are that if this question has been on your mind a lot, it could be a yes. But it also could be a no. So here's what you need to know in order for you to make a good decision and have a better experience in your life going forward. If you're unhappy most of the time when you're around this other person, if it puts you down, if it drags you down, if it makes you feel upset, if it makes you feel depressed, if they make you feel depressed, they're the source of darkness and gloom in your life. You have to be willing to end it. Either change it or end it. And chances are that it's not going to improve. Have you tried? Did you try talking to them? Did you try sharing what's on your heart and really pouring yourself out? Being authentic? And they didn't receive it or they ignored you? Or they just kept doing what they were always doing, kept making excuses? You must walk away. You must have the self-respect to be willing to put down a boundary and say, enough is enough. I'm not gonna stand for this and I don't wanna keep experiencing this because it's a choice. If you're in a relationship and you're unhappy, you are choosing every day to continue that and no one can force you. Even if it's physically abusive, nobody can force you. You can leave and you can walk out unless they're holding you prisoner, in which case you're not watching this video. You have the ability to walk away. So walk away, come, walk away. But of course, if that's not the case, if you're not unhappy most of the time, if they don't constantly bring you down, if you're just questioning whether or not they're the right person for you, and you're kind of in between, you've got to give it some more time. If you're unsure, if you don't know yet, maybe you don't know them well enough. Maybe you're not deep enough in, maybe you haven't tried enough different approaches or really talked to them or really connected on the level that you wish you did. Or maybe it's just getting kind of stale. Maybe you've been together for a long time and it's just getting old. Well, maybe you gotta spice it up. The solution is different based on the situation that you're in. If you're really unhappy, you gotta go. If 80% of the time it's miserable, leave right now. But if 50% of the time it's good and 50% of the time it's not that good, then it's much harder to pull the trigger and you gotta get more of a sample. You gotta spend some more time together and you really, can't make a decision when you're unsure. Which side are you leaning towards gives you a good indication, but it's not conclusive. So try something different than what you've been doing. What you've been doing together and what you've been doing alone. The way that you look at the relationship and the way that you spend time with each other. Maybe go out somewhere that you never have before. Maybe try a new activity. Maybe, just maybe, accept more of the other person. Because here's the thing, there is no better half that's really coming on the way anytime soon. Chances are that every person you meet, you will keep finding yourself in the state that you're in, even without the person there. Because it's really you that has to change if you want your life to change. Changing the other person, yes, it will make a difference who you're next to and who you're sleeping next to at night. But most of all, what will make the difference is if you change. So if you change the way you look at the other person, all of a sudden, the other person changes for you in front of your very eyes. And this is hard to comprehend if you're stuck and you're just thinking about, should I break up? Should I not break up? Are they good for me? Are they not good for me? Are you good for them? That's the question. Because if you're good for them, then okay, ask them. Do I make you happy? Do I make you feel good? Do you like being around me? And if it's a yes, then okay, it really is. Do you like them or do you not? But if they're feeling similar things that they might be thinking the same thing that you're thinking, maybe they're watching the same video as you're watching. That makes it a lot more difficult. You see, the way you show up to one thing is usually the way you show up to everything. And so if you want a better relationship, you gotta become a better partner. You really have to work on you. You can't expect the other person to always do everything that you want. But of course, it takes two to really have a high quality relationship. So think about it this way. If they're willing to grow and improve with you, if they're willing to explore, to share, to be honest, to be authentic, you've found yourself the right person because they connect with you and they care about you and they share the same values. But if they're shut down, if they're closed, if they've given up and resigned on life and they don't want to go further, 
they just want to give up and stop right now and life is miserable, then that makes it very hard for you to do anything. Because no matter what you do, their receiver is off. No matter what you say, they're going to reject it. And a relationship like that is not a relationship at all. So based on what you know is right, most of all, follow your heart. And whatever it's telling you, make the right choice for you. Whether it's with them or without them, it's up to you.